It's 5 a.m. in May. I'm just heading out along the Jurassic Coast. Heading out at the low tide along Monmouth Beach. And I'll look to see what I can find. See what the sea's washed out on quite a stormy day in May. Weather fit for surfboarding. And just down here on the beach, you can see an impression of quite a large ammonite. And there's the keel of the ammonite sticking out, protruding out of the rock. Quite a nice specimen there of uh, Areotites ammonite from the Jurassic, fallen down in a large block onto the beach from the Jurassic age. Some fossil wood, monkey puzzle tree from the Jurassic age. I'm looking in between the rocks now for the fossil finds on this uh, section. Let's see what I can pick up through these parts. Quite nice ammonites on the rocks. Ah, I spotted a oyster shell there from the Jurassic age. Also nicknamed Devil's Toenails. I've come right down here this morning into Hine Bay, looking in the chert and flint rocks primarily for sea urchin fossils, my craster heart-shaped sea urchins. And uh, I'm concentrating on one thing today, just one particular thing, uh, trying to make some sea urchin fossil finds. As I go down here along into Pine Bay on this really windy day in May. One of the ammonites on the limestone block eroding away. Ah, there's a part of a sea action protruding out that rock. Hopefully there's some more in the rock. I've brought my safety spectacles and gloves. Give that a tap something sitting in that piece of the uh, flint rock. I'll tap it to see if it's worth taking with me, that sea urchin. Might be too eroded already by the sea's actions, but uh, have a good look for some more as well while I'm here. Here's a flint sea urchin. I've got my sturdy rubber gloves on for breaking this uh, rock and some safety spectacles. Give it a sharp tap with the uh, hammer. This flint is a uh, very hard rock. I don't really break it very often unless I see one of these sea urchins protruding out of the rock. Sea urchin from the Cretaceous age. First time it's seen the light of day in all those millions of years. A lovely stormy day along the Jurassic coast. I've just come down to the water's edge to uh, wash the sea urchin fossil find. When I get home, I'll put it in fresh water and uh, soak the salt out of the fossil now on its way in so I'll be heading home as the tide comes in. On my way back I'll show you a really nice area called the Ammonite Pavement as we head 
down along the coast back to Lyme Regis. So back along the beach, I'll show you the Ammonite graveyard, a protected site for everyone to see. Come and have a look at it as I go back towards Lyme Regis today. Really nice place on this Jurassic coastline. Well, I'm right back to a very special spot on the Jurassic coast, the Ammonite pavement. Really large Ammonites from the Jurassic age all preserved on this limestone layer. So thanks for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. It's a shame to be heading back along the Jurassic coast now but the tide is on its way in. So I'll push on through to Lyme Regis.